So here they are exposed out of the box. They come raw and they're oiled to help prevent rust. Uh, you can see these things are pretty beefy. Um, they're one and three quarter inch tubing there uh, by 0.120th of an inch drawn over mandrel or DOM uh, steel. You know, from what I'm hearing, it's uh, very strong. This is what they make roll cages out of, uh, as opposed to uh, other types of steel that they use for uh, rock sliders. At any rate, uh, these are the heavy-duty version that they put out. Sure, it's going to be more than sufficient enough uh, for my use. So I'm going to be prepping these and getting these ready and painted. Uh, here's my other one. You can see these things are really nice, pretty beefy. Got these at Big Country Customs. Uh, they're in BC um, and uh, uh, here in Canada. Uh, paid for them, I'd say I got them in less than seven days. Uh, they were they were here and uh, got here really quick. They look uh, pretty good. <clears throat> Everything looks legit. I've got the hardware for it. Came there in this box and uh we're good to go so i'm gonna get these all prepped that'll be the first thing is getting these all prepped and primed and then uh, i'm gonna break that bumper out and do the same thing to that once i get these painted then i can start moving forward with getting in stuff installed so uh, my first goal here is to start getting stuff painted so i'm gonna get a good look at these get these kind of cleaned up uh with the oil and uh all cleaned up and prepped and ready and uh, maybe go over them with some sandpaper and uh, make sure it's all that uh, is taken care of and then go with uh, some self-etching primer and uh, I'm gonna go with uh, painting them versus powder coating uh, from what I'm hearing powder coating is fine if you never go off-road but the uh, second you get out there and you bang these against something and you mess up that powder coat, it's hard to make it look right again. However, painting them, you will uh, scratch them up or whatever. You just come home, give them a little sand on that area, shoot it with the paint you shot it with originally, and you're back in business and you're good to go. So I'm going to go that route with that. Um, that way uh, I can maintain it as time goes on. Scratches you know, whatever, road, uh, road blasted from sand or whatever, you know, I can just retouch it with some, some cheap paint, just rattle can it, and uh, keep them fresh. Okay, so that's going to conclude the videos I think I'm going to do tonight because i got a lot of work ahead of me. Stay tuned.